What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nella Dante, and we are back with another video. As you can see, we are going to go ahead and hop straight into this because we ain't got no time to waste. Okay, honey? So this is actually my week two wash day of the 30 day hair detox because some way, somehow, your girl lost the footage to my week one video and I am super hurt about it because y'all know I want to share the tea with y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and drop some clips in now so y'all can see what my hair was looking like and how it was styled after my first week wash day. So this is what my curls were looking like after that first week wash day. I'm going to leave some notes on what products I used. And these are my flat twists. And don't look, don't be scoring on my flat twists, y'all. Because I ain't that good at it. But this is what we were working with and they felt amazing, okay? Anywho, let's get back to business. As y'all can see, I'm separating my hair, trying to make sure that I get every single strand wet so it can be ready for shampoo. And as you can see, I have diluted my shampoo. I'm using the Mio Organics Rosemary Mint Shampoo. Y'all hear this thunder? It is so disrespectful. Like it literally just started raining out of nowhere. But as you can see, we are using this applicator bottle to get up in there, honey. We getting the scalp clean, we getting them roots clean, we getting our whole head clean, okay? Make sure you go up in there, get every inch of your scalp because we wanna make sure that our scalp is squeaky deaky clean. Now I'm going to scrub and massage my scalp using the pads of my fingers. You do not want to use your fingernails, y'all. Please don't use your fingernails. Use the pads of your fingers. It'll do the same thing. It's going to give you them same results. <laughs> LDMusic.com Another little tip that I learned from Jennifer Rose NYC on Twitter. She's a professional hairstylist. Uh, is to pull your hair taut and scrub your scalp you don't want to scrunch your hair together that's going to cause it to tangle so even if you just elongate the hair or kind of pull it taut like you see me doing right here that will help you get to your scalp without causing any more tangles If you like, you can also take one of these shampoo brushes and get up in there and massage your scalp as well. I got mine from Sally Beauty Supply and it was pretty cheap. You know what time it is. It's time to rinse the shampoo out. I am going to take a small amount and do a second shampoo just to make sure that everything is all clean. And this is what we're working with so far, y'all. I gently split it down the middle so I could wring out a little bit of that water. LDMusic.com. And it's conditioner time. I am using the Herbal Essence Hello Hydrations Conditioner. I swear by this. I live by this. I always have, ever since I've been natural. And that is what we are going to use today to condition and detangle our hair. So you want to emulsify that product by rubbing it in the palm of your hands. This just helps warm it up so that it can fully penetrate those strands. So I am marrying the product to my hair when I slide my hands down my hair in that motion and I'm also lightly finger detangling. Now I am taking my easy detangler brush, I'm separating my hair into smaller sections and I am going to detangle. Once I'm done with the section, I'm just gonna twist it up and repeat that process all over. LDMusic.com. Also, if at any point you feel you're having any difficulty detangling your hair with the conditioner, make sure you add more water versus adding more conditioner. Adding more water is going to kind of like reactivate that conditioner and give you more slip. And on top of that, it's gonna ensure that you're using a lot less product. Y'all, I used to detangle three times on wash day. 
before, during, and after. And let me tell you, this has made life 10 times easier when it comes to that. This is the least amount of shedding I have ever had on a wash day. Now it's time to grab your shower cap. I prefer to use a Walmart bag or grocery bag. And we are gonna put this on our hair just to cover it up and get some steam going while we take our regular shower. Now that we are done with our shower, it's time to go ahead and pull that cap off and rinse out this conditioner. I would like to add that I am rinsing out the conditioner with my water just a smidget above cold uh, just because I'm in the shower I'm not trying to get my whole body cold and according to Elise and Asia whatever temperature you use to rinse your conditioner out is your prerogative because once you shampoo and condition you've already sealed in that moisture and that's a wrap. I'm gonna be using the Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner to put jumbo twists all over my head. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thank you for joining me again. I love y'all so much. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you tried it, if you aren't trying it and why. Thank y'all again so much. I appreciate y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.